Welcome back to Project 128. Uh, since we had the attack of the pickle worm, we've had some questions from people. How do you mix up and how are we applying the neem oil that we're using? So we're going to show you that uh, quickly today. Again, it's daylight. When we apply this, we apply this in the evening. The uh, pickle worm moth um, usually comes out, they say, three to five hours after sundown. So we don't want to be spraying when there's beneficial bugs around during daylight. We also, neem oil is a little bit oily and it can act like a suntan solution on your leaves. And so we don't want um, the sun burning down and, and you know, uh, affecting our plants any during the day. And we also, again, we don't want to affect if we spray beneficial insects. We don't want um, this to harm them because if this uh, directly sprays on them, it could kill them. And so what we have is we have a one gallon Hudson sprayer. We went ahead and we filled that up. The fill line is right here at this uh, first indentation. We have our neem oil. They say about two tablespoons of the concentrate and that would be um, 30 milliliters. So 15 milliliters per tablespoon. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna show you, this is a 20 milliliter container, but it is split up into five milliliter increments. And we're gonna go ahead and you can see it's pretty, almost uh, a little bit less than a syrup, kind of a watered down syrup is what it looks like. Okay, and there we go, there's another 15 milliliters. So there we go, that's 30 milliliters, that's two tablespoons. Now what we're gonna do is, is we, you wanna mix this up and uh, if it sits for a little while, you wanna shake it up again, because again, the neem oil is an oily substance and so it'll start separating from the water. So we want to go ahead and you know, have it good and mixed up in here. And then once we do, we're going to pump up our Hudson sprayer. And we're not going to spray this now, but we're going to show you over here on one of our uh, squash plants how we'd be applying this. If you can see down here, there's a bunch of small flowers developing. That's where we've noticed a lot of the eggs coming in and our first damage is usually around the flowers. So I spray around the flower area when the flowers are bigger, I make sure I get the base because that's where we've seen the entry holes and the exit holes for the, uh, for the pickle worm. We want to lightly spray around the leaves, spray the underside because that's where they may lay eggs. We've again seen most of our laying, egg, uh, egg laying close to where the plants are, so where the flowering is. That's usually where we've been spotting it. So we've gone ahead and concentrating around that area there. And uh, if you have any questions, again, fe please feel free to send your questions, your comments, your suggestions to us. If you have negative comments, please keep them to yourself because it really hurts our feelings. So we don't want any hurt feelings. No, but if you have constructive criticism, if you have suggestions on how we can do things better, please feel free to contact us. Let us know. We want to make sure that we keep improving and we keep sharing these ideas with you to make all of our projects better. And so again, happy gardening. Have a great day, and we'll see you next time.